What is up my VR bears and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a product that revolutionizes the way I and you should be using virtual desktop with your Oculus Quest. With that being said, if you like the product, check it out down in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and let's hop straight in. Right off the bat, when this company reached out to me, I was very hesitant to try out their product. So after reading through their website a little bit, I was still unsure about what this project could entail. And so with that being said, when I wrote back in an email to them, I said I would like to be able to give all of my complete thoughts on your product when I make this video. They said that is a-okay, we 100% believe in our product and think it'll come out great. And oh my god, their confidence was justified. This thing is absolutely amazing. The Nexus Link is a router type device that you connect between your router and your PC. It works as a sort of gateway that allows you to connect your headset straight to your PC without having to go to the router and then to your PC. I don't know all of the logistics behind it, all I know is that it works wonders. My setup is in my basement and I am far, far away from my router. This leads to a lot of latency if I try and use virtual desktop, which is why I normally just play using Oculus Link. When using virtual desktop, I find the quality to be very poor and I find myself having a lot of latency. The latency is so bad that I can't even play Beat Saber. However, when I hooked up the Nexus Link, all of that was solved. My quality got instantly better, I had higher bit rate going through as it was able to transmit it easier, and I had a steady latency that never spiked. On screen now, you can see me playing Beat Saber with a steady 40 milliseconds of latency using the Nexus Link. Switching over to virtual desktop without the Nexus Link, you can see I do start at 40 but fluctuate a lot, sometimes peaking at 75, which is when it becomes very laggy and buggy. However, not everything is sunshine and rainbows. The way the Nexus Link works is you first hook it up to your PC, which basically sets up a secondary router off of your main network. You then need to connect to this secondary network inside of your headset. However, what I have found is the signal coming from the secondary network coming from the Nexus Link can be sometimes unstable. The connection works great. However, sometimes I'll completely just lose it. The Wi-Fi will just completely crash and it'll just disconnect me completely and I'll have to reconnect. This happens very rarely, maybe once a day, however it is still much more inconsistent in that terms than connecting to your router. I know I've been spewing a bunch of mumbo jumbo that may not even be technically correct since I am not a networking person, I am just a kid in high school, however simply putting it, it works great, it improves virtual desktop latency and quality, however it may crash on occasion. With that out of the way, the setup is simple and easy. There's a guide that comes inside the box that is super simplistic to follow. And for only $80, if you're using virtual desktop daily, it is definitely worth the price instead of buying a brand new router. With that being said, if you want further information about the Nexus link, check out the link down in the description. I hope you enjoyed today's video and it helped you out. If you want to see more product reviews just like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you to my members. You guys are absolute mad lads. From my little lettuces to my mama bears, your support helps out the channel tremendously. Hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Bye.